Hello, this is the Trade Site U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2018. We've got a good trading week so far. Here's a look at the ES Front Month Futures Contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market in futures form. Nothing really changed. One of the lightest days we've seen in a while. We'll look at all the major indices. More importantly, we'll look at volume and see what happens. Here's a look at the uh, crude oil down five cents. Not a big deal to 59.15. Gold up three dollars and seventy cents. Doesn't really matter. S&P Cash Index up 6.94. The NDX is the Nasdaq 100 up 30 points. Socks down 0.63. That's almost a point. Really flat. Biotech's up 6.74. That's also basically flat compared to what it usually does. The VIX. Closed at 24.97. That's down 64 cents. It's trying to settle down here a bit. The trend up 1.1 at 1.12. 10 day moving average still at 1.26. We got four more days till that big number drops off the 10 day. Here's the disappointing thing though the, the bounce in the market with the SP up six and the NASDAQ up 30. NASDAQ volume was only 1.8 billion shares. We almost had a volume warning. This is the lightest volume. So the bounce day, the gap up and bounce day, is the lightest volume day of, of 2018. That's not good if you're trying to look at how this is supposed to work. Uh, advanced decline ratio on the NASDAQ plus 427 on the New York plus 395. Google loses 42 cents. Apple up 163. That's a new five day high on Apple after selling off, obviously. Amazon back up again, still under that 13 sell signal up 2828. Netflix up 32 cents. Tesla up 793. TLT gains 53 cents, 118.99. Goldman Sachs gains 237. So there's that. All right, let's take a look at the intraday action. This was really dead. Look at how flat this is. Little gap down, dead flat, little pop up over lunch, and then dead flat and closed about even. Again, the, the SP up six. I mean, this is as flat as we've seen in weeks. And that's because that, you know, it's just disappointing. I mean, there was nothing else to it. So what do we have to look forward to for the next couple of days? Obviously, Wednesday could be options unravel. That could be the first look at the options unraveling move. Um, other way, otherwise, um, I don't know what to tell you. There's really just nothing else there. Uh, this is just horrible for me. It's a measuring day. We've got options expiration later this week, but it's not triple expiration. There could be some volume in that expiration, though, just because of the, act, the volatility we've seen. So we will take a look. And that's it. So Wednesday should be a better day. We'll look for options unravel after the first hour. Thursday could be okay. Friday becomes not that interesting because it's what it's ahead of the long weekend and it's options expiration so probably the first hour friday if we don't get any action there everybody's gonna be gone charts as usual brought to you by e-signal if you've not yet taken a trial of our services feel free to do so we will help you out for a couple weeks have a great trading uh, wednesday